Welcome back to Bad Pack Openings. Today in the United States of America is the 4th of July. It's our country's Independence Day. So in 1776, um, we broke off. Our colonies were no longer ran by Great Britain and we became our own independent country left to make our own laws and constitution and stuff like that. But really what matters is eating grilled meats blowing stuff up, spending time outdoors, and, uh, you know, spending some time, whether it's comfortable or uncomfortable, with uh, family and friends. Um, but what we have to ce celebrate today is an America 12 historic trading card pack. Um, so these were made by Starline in 1992. It doesn't appear that there's any chase cards, but you can send in a money order or check for a collector's album optimized and customized with American logo and 15 nine card collecting sleeves for $19.99 included shipping and handling. Uh, yeah, you can send in a check or many order. Um, no cash, please. Uh, please allow four to six weeks for delivery. Expires November 30th, 1992. Dang it. I was uh, just a few months old back at that moment in history, but Sit back, relax, enjoy this bad pack. It's the 4th of July. So I have no clue what's in here. I also don't know, you know, maybe you were at your local, you know, trading card shop, like baseball cards or comic shop back in 1992. Why you would walk in the store, see these, and choose these over, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or anything like that. But starting things off right away, we got America Icona card number one with Herbert Hoover. Uh, he was the 31st president. Um, there's some historical highlights on the back, and here's a little trivia quiz, which is cool. Name the four states that met at a place called the Four Corners. Answers found on card 70. Okay, so this card's 78, and it looks like down here at the bottom there's an answer for card 83. So, wow. They really get you with uh, the trivia, um, trying to collect the set just to find all the answers. You also got the historical highlights, but we're going to keep this thing moving right along. Abigail Adams, okay, okay, I believe back in 1776, she was still over in Great Britain, and uh, John Adams was, uh, you know, uh, mailing to her, like, hey, yo, we're independent now, and we're going to throw a big old party on July 2nd. It wasn't until July 4th that they signed the Declaration of Independence. But anyways, historical highlights, trivia quiz for her. What is the capital of Iowa? Um, does our capital, uh, does our camera operator know that question? Des Moines. Des Moines. So we do not have to look on the back of card 245. Holy cow, there's 245 cards. Anyways, moving right along with Jackie Robinson. All right, I like the turn that this is taking. Um... He was a baseball player from 1919 to 1972. Uh, he was a, a member of the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers and named Rookie of the Year and Most Valuable Player of the Award in 1949. He was elected in the Hall of Fame. We're going to not do the trivia on every single one. Uh, Virgil uh, Grissom. Uh, this is card number 228. He was the second American in space and first in space twice. Uh, Frederick Remington, probably from the guns. I don't know, he was a painter. Was born and raised in upstate New York. Uh, Remington is known for his paintings of the American West. Cool. John Wilkes Booth. Wow, this took a turn. It really did. Like, yeah, he's a part of Amer American history, but like, it kind of like a, a dark part of history. Most known for being an assassin. Look at that. It's just who he is. He's just an assassin. Card number 210. Uh, most known for, um, you know, assassinating President um, Lincoln. The Constitutional Convention, which was, what, in 1887? It was, it was a little down the way. Yeah, or 1787. I'm sorry. It was a little after the Declaration of Independence was signed. Uh, you know, this is when uh, they came up with the laws. So that's a nice one, a little portrait or landscape. Uh, Clarence Darrow, have no clue who this is, but man, that is a portrait of that man. He was a lawyer. Um, he is 
In Chicago, he was a defense attorney for over 1,800 cases. Um, cool. Edgar Allan Poe, an American writer. Very cool. Wow, they're just covering everything. Uh, he was a poet. Born in Boston, card number 140, Oliver Wendell Holmes. Uh, Supreme Court Justice, card number 134. Um, he was a captain in the Union Army during the Civil War, very cool. And James Buchan, Buchanan. Here we go. Um, was the elected to the Pennsylvania State Assembly in 1814. He's a member of the House of Representatives. He was the 15th president of the U.S. I didn't even know that. And here we go. Abigail's wonderful um, husband, John Adams, who was there on Independence Day. Who, like I said, he, he wrote home to Abigail. He was like, hey, this is lit, you know, what we're doing here. We're going to party hard. For, for so many years to come. He was the second president of the United States. Here's a little last trivia. We'll give you this one. Who said, give me liberty or give me death on card number 80? Do we have card 80? I feel like we did. I don't know. Anyways, this has been 12 Historic Trading Cards. I hope you're enjoying your 4th of July. If you don't celebrate it, I just hope you're enjoying your day. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks. Peace out.